Hello, good morning. Nice to greet you. This is the study of our English classes in the digital book, which you can find on this same social network. I invite you to subscribe, share, and comment. Unit number two, causal verbs. Unit goals. In this unit, we will examine point number one. How to use causal verbs without an object and for example he had his hair cut yesterday he had his hair cut yesterday i'll get my car fixed next week okay point number two how to use causal verbs with an object okay And for example, she made her students write a story for homework. Or other example, they won't let us see the new design yet. And more vocabulary. Okay, we have here the causal verbs and have some imagine. I think he's this guy is a boss. This is a implied. Uh, we have here a um, copy machine, a breakfast, uh, this person is Dink, uh, we have here some conference I think, okay, so we have here keywords and expressions to be fired up with is harto de, to be fed up with, to undertake emprender, asumir, to undertake, the last straw, la gota que derramó el vaso, the last straw, to yell, to talk loudly, angry, angrily, to yell, lousy, bad or terrible, to take advantage of, aprovecharse de, to take advantage of, Okay, we have here the dialogue, uh, not my ideal job, and Carrie say, I'm fed up with this job, I really need to find something that's more intellectually challenging, and Rai say, what's the matter, Carrie say, it's my boss. He hired me as his assistant and he told me that I will be helping with different projects that the department was undertaking and that I be contributed to the goals of the department. However, this has not been the case. I didn't study four years at the university to get a degree in business administration in order to become a golfer right a golfer carry say yes go for coffee go for copies go for sandwich etc right i see so you're more like a personal assistant that a business assistant right carry exactly last week he had me make a doctor's appointment for him he had me call all over the city to find a video game his son asked him for and then he had me order flowers for his wife's birthdays birthday right say and do you work on any projects for the department and car say no none He told me that he won't let me work on projects until I had proved that I could do a good job. But how can I prove that I can do more if he never gives me a chance? Last Friday was the last straw. He made me go to this dark piano recital because he had an appointment and his wife was busy. Can you believe it? And then after the recital, when I got back to the office, 
I noticed noticed it. He had left some sweets on my desk. I put them in this office and he said that he wanted me to take them to the dry cleaners and pick up some shirts. He had left there, and Ray says. So he got you to pick up his dry cleaning? And Carrie say, yes. What could I do? If I say I won't do this thing, he starts yelling at me that I'm a lousy assistant. Ray say, why doesn't he get his dry cleaning pick up at his house. The dry cleaning please has a pick up and delivery service. Cari say, I think he just like to have everything done by me. And Rai say, have you considered talking to someone in human resources about this? Cari say, what good will that do? He is the boss of the human resources manager, right say. Then I think you're right. You need to start looking for a new job. You should look for something that will take advantage of your skills because this job is clearly underslicing under your talents. Carrie say, I agree, so if you hear of any jobs out there, let me know. And Ray say, for sure. Okay, and this is the check your understanding with a five question. Question number one, what did Carrie's boss tell her she'd be doing? Question number two, what thing does Carrie's boss have here do question number three what was the last straw for curry question number four why can't she talk to the human resources manager and question number five what does right thing curry should do okay uh, we have here the concept and the structure number one in english we use some verbs like have and get and causal verbs as causal verbs causal verbs are used when the subject causes something to be done if we want to mention the person doing the action we add by and plus person and for example he likes to have everything done by carry he likes to have everything done by car. Subject plus have plus object and plus verb in, in past participle and by car. And we have here the have and get. Okay. He likes to have everything done by car or he likes to get everything done by car. Other example. He shall get he shall get his dry cleaning pick up at this house. He shall get his dry cleaning pick up at his house. When we use have or get, it means that you give someone the responsibility or pay them to do something he shall get this dry cleaning pick up at his house okay we have here the practice number one practice number two what i have or get done uh, practice number three optional practice number four and we have here some important with the concept and the structure number two in english we we in english we use some verbs like have 
make, let, and get as causal verbs. We use these causal verbs when the subject causes someone to do something. With this construction, we always mention the person doing the action. And for example, Carrie's boss won't let her work on projects. Carrie's boss won't let her work on He had her make a doctor's appointment. Okay. He made her go to his daughter's recital. Okay. In these examples, we have first the subject plus let or have or make plus object and plus verb in simple form. He got here to pick up his dry cleaning. We have here the subject plus get plus object and plus verb in infinitive. He got here to pick up his dry cleaning. Uh -huh. Let, when we use let, it means that you allow or gives or give someone permission to do something. Have, when you, when we use have, it means that you give someone the responsibility or pay them to do something. Make, when we use make, it means that you force someone to do something. And get, when you, when we use get, it means that you convince someone to do something. Okay. Let, have, make, and get. Perfect. We have here the practice number five. Uh, we have here some important with the grammar capsule number one other verbs that follow the same pattern as get are command order force require remind and urge and for example the general commanded his men to attack the enemy okay or the general ordered his men to attack to attack the enemy the thief forced his victim to give him, him all of his money the thief forced his victim to give him all of his money the government requires us to pay taxes I remanded my mother to call the dentist. My parents always urged me to go to the university. Okay, we have here the subject plus verb plus object and plus the verb in infinitive. The verb help can follow either patterns, American English and British English. He helped help it me finish the job he helped me to finish the job subject help object and verb in simple form in british english subject help plus object and plus verb in infinitive he helped me finish the job he helped me to finish the job Okay, this is the difference of American English and that British English. Okay, we have here the practice number six. Um, practice number seven. Optional practice number eight. Vocabulary review. Check your progress. Notes. And this is all of this unit number two. Thank you for listening to this video my friends see you in the next video bye bye
Financiero o financiera, un gusto saludarte. Mi nombre es Isaac Vadillo y en este espacio te voy a mostrar los diferentes productos, servicios bancarios. Yo soy Isaac Vadillo, tengo nueve años de carrera bancaria al día de hoy, año 2019. Y quiero compartir contigo todo lo que he aprendido. El mundo bancario es bastante amplio. Y aquí te voy a compartir las diferentes herramientas, productos, servicios que pueden ser de tu utilidad. Bienvenido y que disfrutes este espacio. ¿Qué onda mi amigo? Para hacerte la invitación me sigas en mi otra red banco para ti en Instagram, YouTube y TikTok. Ahí te veo.